Hi Land Rover fans, welcome back to another episode of LR Live. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at door handles. Now, I know it sounds a little bit uh, dreary, but trust me, there's a big difference when it comes to something like this and something like this. So let's have a look. Now, I have just recorded a whole intro on how to fit the door handles, but Thinking about it, you might just want to see the door handles first. If you do, I'm going to switch it round and I'm actually going to introduce all the door handles to you. And then at the end, uh, I'm going to go through two things that you definitely need to do on pretty much every single aftermarket handle um, that comes as standard on a Land Rover one. So why they don't do it, I don't know. But I will tell you what to do and that will make fitting these 100% more easy. So let's just get straight into looking at the handles. So if you've gone for some gloss uh, panels and accessories on your vehicle, such as a KBX grille, the light covers and the wing top vents, uh, even the gloss wing mirrors, fitting the door handles in gloss would be a really nice addition. And then you've got the whole lot done and you've continued that theme throughout the vehicle. It would be really nice. Now, this is one from LR Parts. This is their own version and this is the gloss version. And it's actually a really nice finish on there. So considering it's a £14.50 part um, plus the VAT and you get all the mounting hardware and the gaskets in the in the bag. So you get the whole lot, um, one stop shop. And you know, for the for the price, it's really good. It still needs those modifications that I'm gonna talk about at the end, but ultimately they've done quite a nice job. You can see out of the factory there, look where the mold is caught, um, they cleaned that up really nicely. So that should go straight on. And I'm sort of sensing that's a bit of a flatter finish on the top there. So that should be a direct fitment. So this would be suitable for a later vehicle, TD5, um, with remote central locking. Uh, but they do come with the, the aperture in there. This is the same version from LR Parts in the matte finish. And that's obviously a more traditional Land Rover finish there. Um, again, finished nicely. I've had to trim the top of it here slightly, which I'll show you later on in the video how to do that, um, just to make sure it all fits nicely. But as I said before, it comes with the gasket and the mounting hardware, which is a really nice addition. I do apologize for having a black t-shirt. I'm gonna get some different colors because most of the things that I'm showing you on screen are black and we've got a black background, black t-shirt. So we'll go for a different color. So got any recommendations what color you wanted me to wear? Obviously you're all gonna say pink, but um, just fire away and let me know. But let's have a look at this door handle here now this is CNC machined it's by Exmoor trim they do these in silver and black they both have um, this sort of matte satin matte finish which is really nice it's going to be very durable now the main design feature that's different about the one from Exmoor trim is this lever shroud here and that sits into the recess on your door um, skin itself that's a really nice touch because quite often when you're running your hands into the door if you've got long fingernails you'll notice there's loads of scratch marks uh, like you've been driving through the safari park and um, those are scratch marks nail marks where you've been grabbing your handle lazily and it's just been taking the paint away with this in place you're gonna get rid of that which I think is a really nice touch so if you've gone to the trouble of repainting your defender and you're doing some upgrades to some of the equipment then this could be a fantastic knuckle duster sorry this could be a really good addition to that vehicle now straight away the thing i love the most about this which is really anal is the fact that they've addressed that lever arm section there so can you see at the top here it's got curved edges because xmore trim have gone to the trouble of actually machining this lever with rounded ends and they copied the original land rover rather than lazily just stuck a bracket on there um, you're not going to have any issues with this interfering the skin on your door. I think that's a really nice design. It's something totally unique. Um, and the fact that it's not over shiny, it's a bit understated, but you know, it's really gonna be a lovely feel every time you go to your defender. I love the, the knurled here sections for your fingers. I just think that's taken it to the next level. So these are just under 300 pounds for the pair plus VAT. Um, if applicable, but you are really really getting what you pay for and you're gonna have something that's very exclusive and Who knows defenders are so different. Everybody's defender is so different This could be exactly what you're looking for on your vehicle just to finish the build So something to look out for there. That's from Exmoor trim now very very similarly priced are the door handles from Optimil now these are 148 pounds each um, plus the VAT and again, the build quality, the finish on them, and we've looked at optimal stuff, we know how nicely made it is. So let me just give you a little close up there. Hard anodized, um, good 
solid locking point. So gone are the days of having, uh, you know, the same key as the other 20 people in your town who have defenders for your doors. Um, these come with a proper coded key, uh, much harder to copy, and they just slot in there. And it's a very nice positive action. You get two keys with every lock, and I'm sure you can get them handed and key matched if you want them to. So let's talk about the action on this. So obviously, it's a little bit more robust, um, industrial almost, um, but I like that because you obviously you've got this locking um, tumbler on here. Um, you've also got the CNC machined one piece bracket. Uh, the action is super smooth. I mean, I know, but I'm getting excited about pushing a button here, but you've got a replaceable screw head in there that goes through into the shaft of this plunger. Um, which means you're going to get less wear because obviously aluminium would wear more. So it's steel against steel, which is a really nice touch. It's nicely greased up, so the action is super smooth, super quiet. There's a good bit of pressure there. I just think that's a really, again, a really nicely finished bit of kit. And I've said this before, because they do so many different CNC machine parts, if you're going for a look that includes their door hinges, their bonnet hinges, um, and their steering wheel bosses and everything, then the door handles, you just can't go wrong with these. They're so nicely made. Now that brings us on to LR Parts own CNC machine door handles and um, they're much more reminiscent of a standard design. They've got again uh, a metal bracket here, not plastic. It's not CNC machine but it's mounted um, really securely with two screws on there, all metal hardware. So these run at £150 a pair, so half the price of the Optimil um, and the Exmoor trim. Obviously, there are some limitations to the, the hardware they've used, but quite frankly, the action here, again, is superb. It's really nice, smooth action. It's really nicely weighted. Again, if you want to go for something that's very similar in the look of your existing door handles, but just a lot more robust and just that nicer finish, then these ones from LR Parts really do fit the bill. And I, I did, didn't think I'd say this because I'm really not into chrome. But these silver ones they do are really nice. Um, chances are they're also going to last a bit longer because I know anodizing's um, come a long way in the, in, in, over the years and you can get hard anodizing now. So it shouldn't rub away. But obviously it only goes skin deep. You're only anodizing the top surface of any material. It, gets, it penetrates into the actual outer surface of uh, the metal. So eventually you're going to wear through, just like you would with paint I guess. Uh, to the bare metal underneath and if you go for these silver ones you're never going to get through it because it's just a solid piece of aluminium it's a solid billet um, and again the action's really nice it's no different to the black one but I just think these would really look nice on a build with some other bits of silver on there so again if you've got some KBX um, in the silver on the grill just what a nice addition just really going to set it off now they work with the original gasket sets um, so again you get them in the kit you get all the fitting hardware they've included stainless steel bolts uh, which is really nice because that is what I definitely recommend you use because again skip to the end if you want to see the fitting guide but um, there's going to be um, some issues there when you take the old ones off because they do corrode inside the riv nuts um, but for £150 for the pair it's a good upgrade price it's not too expensive um, but obviously it's all about budget if you can afford it these ones from Exmoor Trim are simply superb these ones from Optimil are amazing and really complement any other Optimil products you've got on your vehicle. But if you're just going for an upgrade and you want something to look a little bit nicer than what you've got on there already and perform a bit better, then definitely the LR Parts um, CNC machined ones in silver or in black would be a really great option. So a couple of things to mention. Firstly, just here is where it gets broken out of the mold. Now it is finished off in the factory. They just get a knife and, and try and clean it up as best they can but invariably that is not cleaned up very well. So if you can just shave all the spare bits of um, the mold that have been left on there with this with a knife, um, if you're good with a knife, it's quite easy to do and you just shave a little bit off until it's flat. Um, if you'd rather, you can get some very fine sandpaper and you can just obviously rub it gently on a table on the sandpaper until you've got a nice smooth finish. Now the reason that's important, uh, whether you do it with a knife or with a bit of sandpaper, is that you want that surface to be as flat as possible. It'll sit nice and flush there on the gasket and that'll go into your door frame. Now sometimes when you're removing your old door handle, if it's very old um, and the bolts have seized into the um, thread in there, 
you'll actually break it away from the housing and it will just spin inside. Now that's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world if you're replacing the door handles. Certainly on this end it's quite easy because you just get a hacksaw and cut that off and then you should be able to sort of cut away and grind away and drill through so you can sort of release it. It's not the end of the world. Or even if you get the majority of the plastic off, hold it from the back and get some vice grips on the actual um, riv nut there, you can, you can remove it. On this end, again, it's not the end of the world, but you do have to sort of um, remove the button. Again, you can just pull that out, cut it out. There's a lot of work with a hacksaw, but you're trying to get to the little uh, riv nut inside there to, to pinch it and grasp it. So if you imagine, you're gonna fit this to your door, and this is your door skin. Now, if it's not fitted correctly, what happens is that lever there, can you see when I'm activating it, how close it's getting? Certainly, that corner that lower corner at the front that will actually hit the inside of your door skin and if you do it really badly or if it's badly made it actually will catch and it won't open there is a, a workaround and all you have to do is file this piece off here so every time i did one of these this top edge here i would file down as much as possible and for good measure i used to do this one as well so basically you're making it round on the top rather than a square finish and you'll find that that's actually what you get when you buy a genuine Land Rover one so why they couldn't be bothered to do it on an aftermarket part I just don't know but at the end of the day we talked about this before some aftermarket pattern parts that you're paying pennies for rather than pounds you know you need to make some modifications so it's quite simple two modifications on these door handles just take the edge corner off this um, right angle bracket here take the edges off those don't go into the hole but just take the edges off and then just make sure that that's nice and flat where it's come out of the mold either using a knife or sandpaper there you go i've said it's super quick took a long time to get there but those are the two things you need to do so as always if you haven't subscribed uh, please do so it will help the channel massively and if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and give me some comments remember i want to know what color t-shirt you think i should get just to make it a little bit easier for you to see stuff and uh, if you've got any ideas of products you want to have a look at in detail then just drop me a message and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so that's it for now and uh, i guess i'll catch you on the next one